Good evening, El Scorpio Blanco here with the first part of a review that I've been waiting to do for a long time. WWE Rumblers Series 1 figures. I have the complete collection, every figure in Series 1, every sculpt, every variant, every exclusive too, every one. Um, I do have the larger playsets. I have every larger playset. I don't have the smaller ones like the, um, the Miz comes with one with a little springy thing, John Morrison comes with a little spinning ladder. I may eventually get those just so I have all of the first line because I love complete collections. I've decided not to continue collecting WWE Rumblers merchandise with Wave 2. Um, I do have the first four two-packs that they released, but that's as far as it's going to go. I'm not really actively watching WWE anymore, but I am enthusiastic to have the entire collection of figures. For anybody who is collecting, I'm just going to run down a quick checklist. You have two Evan Bournes, one Wade Barrett, one R-Truth, one Jack Swagger, two Miz, one Goldust, one Kane, one Big Show, one CM Punk, one Triple H, one Kali, two Undertakers, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Rey Mysterios, Alberto Del Rio, three Kofi Kingstons, Edge, Hornswoggle, just one Hornswoggle, he comes in two different packs but he's the same figure, Randy Orton, Mark Henry, one, two, three, four, five John Cena's, two Seamus's, Santino, Shawn Michaels, one, two, three, four of John Morrison, one Justin Gabriel, Drew McIntyre. A lot of these repaints used to confuse me um, just while I was collecting them because so many came in so many different packs and play sets. Uh, the only one I really want to point out specifically, the only ones rather, are um, the San Diego Comic Con Rey Mysterio, which is of course San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, so you can only get him there or through eBay. He's actually pretty easy to find. He only costs about ten bucks. Also, Blue Rey Mysterio. Now, it claimed that this was an exclusive to the WWE Rumblers Rumble Rig. I found him in a single pack for like three bucks, five bucks at Big Lots. So don't waste your money. Anyway, um, that's just a quick overview of the WWE Rumblers Series 1 figures. I will now get into a couple of different videos reviewing some of them individually. Most of these don't really warrant their own reviews just because they don't really do a whole lot. They're mainly collector's pieces. And I will also review the play sets. Anyway, um, just for you collectors out there, I appreciate you watching. I hope this has been helpful. Um, sorry about a couple of my guys falling over in the corner there. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good night.